Good morning and welcome to Our Chicago. I'm Tanya Babich. Last year, 180,000 Americans were diagnosed with blood cancers like leukemia or lymphoma. Currently, 1.3 million are either living with these cancers or are in remission. Helping to fund research is the Leukemia Research Foundation located right here in Chicago. And we partner with the foundation for the annual ABC7 Gibbons 5K Run and 3K Walk, which is taking place this week. It honors Jim Gibbons who was a reporter here. He died from leukemia in 1994. Joining me now to talk about the race, the research, and how you can help is Kevin Radlett, the executive director of the Leukemia Research Foundation, and Dr. Patrick Stiff, chairman of the Leukemia Research Foundation's Medical Advisory Board and the co-director of Loyola Medical Center's Oncology Research Institute and division director of hematology and oncology. What I'd like to begin with is uh, the diseases themselves. Tell me which diseases fall into the category category of blood cancers? Well, there's four major areas. It's uh, leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, and myelodysplasia. And with leukemia and lymphoma, there's several subsets, hundreds of them actually, uh, but those are the four main types of blood cancer. How common are they? Well, they're, uh, they represent, diagnosed each year, they represent about 10% of all cancers that are diagnosed annually in the United States. Dr. Stiff, survival rates are substantially higher today than they were several decades ago. Why is that? Uh, it's largely because of better treatments, better treatments that are less toxic and, uh, um, and, and generally a healthier population. Uh, uh, you know, the baby boomers are a little bit more fit and uh, they should all participate in the, the run, of course. but. Uh, um, it, is, uh, it is mostly our better way of diagnosing and treating these cancers. Kevin, the push to find a cure and new treatments for blood cancers is personal to us here as ABC7, as I've established already. Uh, it is also true of the leadership team at the Leukemia Research Foundation. Why is that? Well, that's very true, Tanya. You know, the Leukemia Research Foundation has been operating since 1946 and it's been fueled by emotion. Blood cancers don't discriminate. They can touch anyone at any time, regardless of race, age, gender, ethnicity. Uh, many think it's a childhood cancer, but it's diagnosed 10 times more often than adults. And over the years, we've had um, more than 90 volunteer-led chapters uh, that raise funds to find a cause and a cure um, each and every year. And currently, there's 21 of those chapters, primarily here in Chicago. And our board of directors, in particular, uh, they've all been directly touched by uh, blood cancers, either by having lost a loved one or they are survivors themselves. And they do events and raise money throughout the year. And they do it solely so that people don't have to experience what they've endured. Dr. Stiff, you have developed groundbreaking treatments for leukemia and lymphoma. Tell us how these donations help to fund real progress in the fight against blood cancers. Well, the main uh, uh, funds that uh, we really focus on every year is uh, a grant program for young investigators, and these are these are physicians and scientists who uh, are smart enough to uh, to start their careers at an academic center, uh, you know, a university center, um, but have not gotten into the big leagues, if we can use a baseball an analogy, they're still at the farm teams and they need a little bit extra push to get them into the big leagues, which is uh, federal funding. Um, NCI funding, National Cancer Institute funding, NIH funding is difficult to obtain. It's been very difficult over the last 10 years. Uh, it's easing up a little bit, but still what they want is uh, proof that an investigator is capable of doing research. Um, the, these grants are sometimes in the 500000 to $2 million, and they want to know that their money is going to be well spent. And to do that, you need some preliminary data. You need, you need data to show that you're on the right track. Um, that requires still a substantial amount of money, and uh, the grant program of the LRF pr provides $100,000 for a year for junior investigators to start their career paths. And so this is a, a huge boost that allow many investigators to get to the uh, second level, which is federal funding. And we, we have a strong track record of that happening uh, nationally and actually internationally uh, through the efforts of the LRF. Gentlemen, we're going to pause here. We'll be back with more of our discussion after a short break. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.